Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer of Cardinal Newman? May he support us all the day long till the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, in his mercy, may he give us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. It has been a wonderful Christmas here at St. Basil's, and we thank you for the privilege of entering your residences, your nursing homes, your hospitals, your homes, and sharing with us the great things that God is doing for God's people. This Feast of the Incarnation invites each one of us to take on the heart and mind of Jesus, and may the celebrations over this Christmas season inspire us to that, do that with greater zeal and effort. The Lord is with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, St. John proclaimed that your word became flesh for our salvation. Through this Eucharist, may your Son always live in us, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now and enjoy in peace, continuing to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to three donors. The first is Rose Di Pietro Mazza and their families from Hamilton, Ontario. The second, an anonymous donor from St. John's, Newfoundland. And the third, a couple from Woodstock, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televised of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father McPherson, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend, and we'll be looking for you all again come Monday. From the Missions, Part 2. A new CD features highlights from the annual National Catholic Missions of the past two years. Relive sacred moments with Michael Burgess, Arlene Duncan, and the choir of St. Mary Immaculate Parish. For the perfect gift, Send a check or call us at 1-888-383-6277.